Okay. This one is start connection, all legs, the other four down here, start connection. It's going at 337 RPM. Go, go, go. It's giving me 101 DC power at 0.27. My motor is consuming 79, let's say 80. The output, the input, it's 47 watts. So 107, it goes up and down. There we go. So in 80, out 45. 546. High voltage though. Also, it's too high RPM. 367. Okay, we'll see the next one. Okay, here's test number two. I brought these to parallel, like suggested, and I rectified all four points. So now two phase running in pair, like four phase, but combine it to make two phases and all four points are joint. So what do we have? We have 77 in, we have 22 watts, 23 out, 25, and you can, t you can um, but the voltage is much lower. The amperage is a little bit higher because the last one was 0.4. I, I, I don't remember, but I think it was 0.4. But this, the amperage is definitely more, lower voltage. This one seems to be less efficient. That's the output. Let's go back to the input. So, 77 in, 24 out at 250, 254 RPM, 100 RPM, almost 100 RPM less. So you can tell now it's letting it run wild and then soon it'll grab, it'll slows it down, it'll, this will spike up a little bit because it sucks the power out of the generator. It's, it's interesting how it's doing it. It's less now. It's you know it's spinning more f freely, so it's consuming less. At the same time, it's still making power. I don't know how this thing works. There it goes. 26. Okay. I'm gonna do maybe more testing, different combinations. I'm not sure what though.